What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 here in the spring season of series number seven. Today we're gonna be jumping out of our Bentley that we unlocked in the last video, completing the Fiesta Fiesta or Fiesta Siesta repeat trial event. And today we're gonna be jumping into our first seasonal championship. So let's go ahead and take a look at those and get out of this thing because it is not a great vehicle. So let's go look at the seasonal championships. So I think we're gonna start out with the inspiration from Japan just because it gives us a car while the others give us a clothing item and horn. So our class restrictions here are C-Class 600, and we've got to use a Toyota. So I've got three set up. We're going to start out with the truck, and then we'll jump into two cars. This is a cross-country um, championship. No, it's not. It's a dirt championship. Ignore that. I thought it was cross-country. I thought this was going to be a lot worse. So um, I'm happy to see that it's a dirt championship. That makes the choices for the cars a little bit better, in my opinion. So we'll see how it goes, and... We'll jump over here and take a look at the races. Okay, let's see what races we've got here. We've got circuit, 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 man. All right, all right, here we go. Mangrove Scramble. We're starting it out in the, 19, the 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro from the uh, car pass. We're gonna see what this thing can do. Uh, the share code for the tune, the tuner's name and name of the tune will be up on the screen now if you want to check it out and we'll see how well it can do through here um, I picked this because I thought it was a cross-country championship and I figured it would be really good on that I'm not saying it won't be good here in the dirt but I just wanted any excuse to use the Tacoma because it's I wouldn't say my dream truck but it's my realistic dream truck if you catch me there it's probably the most of e or the most obtainable from not being, you know, ridiculous. My dream truck would be a TRX, being the, the Dodge Ram TRX. Um, so, but that's over a hundred thousand dollars. That's a little unrealistic for me because I'd essentially be buying a sports car on a truck body. But um, I love Tacomas. Um, I really wish. Uh, market wasn't so bad right now and stuff like that maybe uh, eventually <laughs> it'll go down Gomas are really good about holding value too though so any Toyota I guess in general so but nonetheless we're fighting the Tundra which I wouldn't mind having a Tundra either um, especially the brand new ones they look really really nice so but we're up in the first looking good in our little Tacoma here and I think uh, what I'm gonna do just to make sure this video isn't a ridiculously long video since we've got three circuit races is each time I get up in the first place um, we'll make sure that we've done at least one lap of the circuit just so you guys can kind of preview what's to come when you do it um, but then after that um, once we get to first, we'll just kind of skip towards the end of the race so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me go around in circles three times. So, with that, I will see you guys as we approach the finish line at the end of the next lap. Alright, we just got our little bit of a straightaway left. Maintain first. The, 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 yeah, the Tacoma got really fun to drive, especially once you got a hang of it. Um, Pretty fun to kind of whip around those uh, turns in the swamp. So, but did good. If you've got the car pass, you get the Tacoma for free. Um, so, you just go add it to your garage, and it worked out really well. So, um, that is one race down. As you can see, this is a championship, so it does not matter if you come in first place all three races. You only need to be in first place in points at the end of the three races. So, you can see I got 20 points there. If I hit continue. This is the championship leaderboard, and we can look a look at this better after the second race. Um, but you can see we are in first with 20 points. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into our next race and jump into our next car. All right, here we go with the next race, the La Selva Scramble, and we are in the 1994 Toyota Celica GT4 
ST205. So, um, just like last time, the share code for the tune, name of the tuner, and name of the tune will be up on the screen now. If the if you can't find it from the share code of the tune, more than likely the tuner has edited the tune in some way, and that does change the share code. So that is why I provide the name of the tune and name of the tuner just so you guys can search via those if you can't find it via the share code so if you do happen upon it and the share code has changed and you do search and find the new share code or find the tune um, definitely share the share code or put the share code down in the comments below and just identify what car it's for just so that um, you know, help out others that come to the video. If you do miss a share code in the video, um, they will be in the description below. I also post them up to the Bomb Gaming Discord server every week. Um, usually they beat the videos out, so if you're somebody that tries to get these done as soon as the season changes or stuff like that, um, and you're waiting for a video, you can jump on Discord and get those, um, would say a lot quicker but they do beat the videos out i try to have all the videos out by the end of thursday and for the most part i can do that but there are some times that life gets a little little hectic um so kind of delays those a little bit but nonetheless we're up at first block. <laughs> sometimes you got blocked so that the trucks will definitely do a lot better through those little uh dips in the water um, but we should be able to do better on just flat road for sure. So, but looks like we're doing good. We've got one lap down. Um, so we'll do what we did last time. And unless anything interesting or uh, potentially funny happens, I'll see you guys as we enter or as we close in on the finish line on that last lap. Right, and we're coming up on the last turn, really made some gap um, between us and the Drivatars at Tacoma. Or, yeah, no, Tundra, man. Blowing through those little jumps through the water there, so probably would be a good option in that. But we got it done in the Celica, in the 94 Celica, that is. So as we get here, we can see that we have 20 more points on the season if I hit continue. We're up to 40 in total now, so we have an eight point lead on second place. So again, you don't have to come in first every single race. You just have to make sure you're in first in points at the end of the three races. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into our last car and into our last race. All right, here we go into our last race, the River Scramble. And yeah, we're using another Celica. So this is the 1992 Toyota Celica GT4. RC ST185. So there are two Celicas in the well, there's three Celicas in the game technically, but there's two uh, GT4 Celicas or Celica GT4s. So we're trying out both of them. This is an older one, so we've actually just gotten older with the video. There's the other Celica, um, the newest, which we didn't use, but um, this one's probably my favorite because it has pop-up headlights and that is nothing but cool and i have the slightest clue what the tundra is doing get that gt86 out of the way as well and now we're just chasing down is it an mr2 tundra just absolutely eats eats us up through those water um points hunter and the forerunner do very well through there so just chasing down first place here i'm pretty certain it's an mr2 but all three of these tunes have worked out pretty well um, this one feels a little loose on the grass or on the uh the asphalt which is fine i mean it's this is mainly a dirt uh racing circuit so um, a little bit loose to me feels really good because i like kind of just kick it around um, these turns a bit so feels good to me um, a lot of these tunes may just they may not work out for you and it may just be a difference in like driving style um, all the ones I've used today really fit my driving style kind of hard out of the turns um, hard on the gas out of the turns as you can see there we're sliding a bit around that 
um, but late on the brakes, hard to the turns, um, stuff like that. That's kind of my driving style. Um, so they, they work out pretty well for that. Um, but again, they may not fit everybody's driving style. So if you do find, ooh, a little bit under steer there. If you do find other cars and tunes that work out, definitely leave those down in the comments below as well. We're here to just, you know, make a repository of helpful information for people doing these events. So uh, definitely leave them down below. Also in the Discord server, if you want to join that, you can go leave them over there. Um, as well, there's an entire channel just dedicated to the weekly festival playlist, uh, tunes and cars to use kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, uh, since we are up into first and just kind of leading the pack here, we'll go ahead and jump towards the end of the race. I'll see you guys here in just a sec. And we are approaching the last couple turns. Um, I did want to jump in here and just make sure that it is clear that you do not have to use three different vehicles for these events. Um, I do that just to show you guys different options that can be used. You can use one car for all three of these races. So make sure you're aware of that. Um, I usually try to say it a little sooner in the video, but uh, there we go. Cross the line in the older Celica. Another first place finish. And that'll get us 20 more points and we'll make it 60 in total on the championship. And it'll get us that 1969 2000 GT. And here is that Toyota. Talk about pop-up headlights, man. Come on. Those are pretty sweet. Man, I wish pop-up headlights would come back in style, so... But there we go. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you guys, um, or if you did, definitely leave a like on the video. Definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 5 content. Just like this, I'll have the rest of the festival playlist videos coming out throughout the day. I've already posted the trial uh, video, so if you're having issues with that trial event, definitely go check it out. But other than that, I hope you guys do have a great rest of your day, and we will get you in the next video.